Boogie, drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking Up. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. So it looks as if Tisha has finally gotten her new car that she went all around the world begging, um, you know, she went all around the world and back again begging Marceau, can she have on top of begging for new furniture only to let us know that she gets a ten thousand dollar a month allowance which it made no sense because if she has a ten thousand dollar a month uh this at her disposal and you know she's claimed to be the boss of several businesses then i don't understand why she had to wine and big and you know stuff for a car because if they have um if her ten thousand dollar a month had nothing to do with any of the household expenses that's just to that's just for her for her and the kids then i'm quite sure that that ten thousand dollar a month if she bought a new car her car note is is not going to be it's not going to uh extend over ten thousand dollars a month uh, it's like i just didn't get the whole game she was trying to play saying she or you know saying she was tr basically trying to butter him up when she could have just easily let him know that you know i want a new car and you know i, I want to have a new car by the end of the month or whatever and i just want to you know, make sure that you know that I'm getting a new car because, you know, spouses do talk about stuff like that. And um, maybe if she just wanted to let him know so he can go to, so he can be prepared to go to the dealer with her. Because I know most women, they rather take their husband, their spouse, or, you know, their man with them when they're going to the dealer regarding a car whether it's for buying a car or car maintenance because the dealers they do try to get over on women but it looks as if tisha is trying to let us know that she got her new suv and she's trying to let us know that she has moved up in life since high school but i mean i would hope so i would hope anybody um has moved up in life or you know moved past high school and has is doing much better than their that than they did in high school because high school you're living off your parents so you're going to get whatever they can afford to give you because you can't get it on your own but it's like that mm, i don't know she's just corny to me because anybody that's still in the same place um, well over 10 years past high school, it's like they're just not trying to do anything, in my opinion. I mean, I know some people can, you know, they, it take them a minute, but 10 years, yeah, I would think that you would be there and move past it. But anyway, even though Tisha is able to show that she has moved up and material things such as a car, she's still in that mindset of a high schooler like how she thinks and how she acts on the show to me she still screams high schooler to me because she's still you know attacking other people marriages thinking that her marriage just because she's been able to stay married for um over 10 years that she is better than people and she thinks that that marriage defines her and she thinks that people are, actually, and with her mindset of thinking that people are jealous of her and that it, it's like, it screams high schooler to me. So even though she may have, she may be able to get some material things such as a car, to me, her mindset still screams high schooler. But I wonder 
is Tisha trying to convince the people or herself that she's moved up in life, that she's leveled up or that she's doing better. Um, and that is all and that what she wanted is coming to, uh, you know, it's coming to pass because it's like, if you're getting ten thousand dollars a month, then she should she should have been had a car. She should have been had a car. They've been on the reality show for how many seasons, and they should have. And they claim to own all these businesses, all these successful businesses, building all these hotels and stuff like that. The things that she's showing, the material things that she's showing. And her behavior, well, both of their behavior, hers and Marcel's, it just, I don't know. It's, to me, with her showing this picture, it's like, is she trying to convince herself or the people that she's moved up, that she's moving up in life? Because what Tisha didn't show was black being open. Because with Tisha and Marcel going through all those liens and lawsuits, allegedly, I know it has to it has to be taking a toll on her mental status, her mental health, in my opinion. Um, but she's not going, you know, whether she's short or not, you can't say it's not there. And especially the fact that she has to rely on Martel to straighten the stuff. I mean, Marcel to straighten the stuff out. He's the one going back and forth to court, getting them into all of these legal woes. And she know she basically don't know what's going on in court because she is not attending, and her name is not, and, and they're not subpoena. Um, she's not, she's not there, and she's she only can go by what Marceau tell her. Plus, if it's true of the uh, you know the rumors that's been floating around of Tisha and Marceau continuing to take out all those loans, right? you know, right after another, she should have been had a new car paid for along with her dream house way back when. It's like, you know, she keep pushing the, they keep pushing that, uh, the timeline back for the dream house, I guess because they renovated this other house across from the gas station. But Tisha continuing to get all these loans because in my uh, in my opinion they want to appear like they have it. Marso um because Marso he only wants to live off uh, live off of the show and live off of the loans, you know, showboat on he want to be able to showboat on the show and on you know, on social media while living off loans because he doesn't want to pay people allegedly for the services which is the reason why they continue to get in my opinion the reason why they continue to get all of these loans and still have not been able to keep their businesses afloat and they haven't been able to have their dream house built you know tisha may have shown that car but she never showed that black was open. You know, the rumor of black being closed floating around for several weeks now. And, you know, Tisha nor Marcel has posted anything to prove the rumors to be false. You know, normally they would have been posting their pictures of their parking lot parties with the curtains and uh, the curtains floating everywhere. Their clear curtains and the chairs all out in the parking lot. But... We haven't seen that in a while. So Tisha can continue with her deflection, you know, waiting on arrival of Funky Dineva to get to Huntsville so they can have a reason to open up black and film, thinking that people are stupid enough to believe any of the, uh, the their deflections and illusions that the Scots keep trying to put out. Because again, the rumors state that black is only allowed to be open for filming and I believe to be used as a venue when needed. So Tisha can continue to post all the deflections she wants while having her mouthpiece Mama Wanda uh, windmilling 
on her channel when milling all the rumors for them. But the truth of the matter is, if you have to take out a $1 million loan and go back and take out a $500,000 loan, allegedly, in my opinion, and all you have to show for it is an SUV, you really haven't leveled up at all. So it's like they're just living for the moment. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.